Hey guys, I'm Billy. Welcome back to P3 Tactical if you're a subscriber to this channel. If not, we'd love to have you subscribe if you like to see more videos that are gear reviews like we're doing today, or we also have videos on training and how to improve your shooting performance as well as tactics and mindset and that kind of stuff as well. Today we're doing a gear review on a piece of kit. This is the Blue Force Gear Trauma Kit now they call it it's basically an ifac that's been mounted to my belt now for about the past year and i also carry one in my um, vertex gamut which is my personal edc bag as well this is a great piece of kit for holding you know a kind of a personal trauma first aid kit it's great for stopping you know major hemorrhaging bleeding as well as you know any kind of gunshot wound and that kind of stuff having the basics of life-saving equipment for those kinds of um, wounds whether it's on a range or a self-defense situation whatever the case may be it's a great uh, piece of kit to have with you one of the things about it that makes it so unique is the fact that even though it's mounted here to the back of my belt I can pull the whole thing off and have all my gear right here with me if I need that. Now, of course, I've got my tourniquet mounted to the top. This is a little add-on attachment they need. So I can grab this tourniquet and just yank the tourniquet if I need it. If I want the whole kit, all I have to do is find this pull tab, pull the top loose, and I just pull the whole kit out. And here's all my gear that's inside right here, ready to go. So this is a really cool piece of kit. It stays really secure on my belt, doesn't go anywhere but all of the gear pulls out of the pouch and I can just now use this, hand it to someone else or lay it down and pull out whatever I need. And it holds everything that I need, I really want to have with me pretty well. I'll zoom in a little bit and show you what I have in here. Okay, so, so here guys is our kind of internal organizer laid out. And look guys, I'm not a doctor, I don't have advanced medical training. This is just kind of the gear that I would want to have with me if something really bad happened right here on the top of course we have our cat tourniquet it's a you know stage north north american rescue um good good tourniquet it's really one of the best out there is recommended by pretty much anybody i've never heard of anybody that has anything really bad to say about it if you're looking for a good solid tourniquet definitely look at a cat tourniquet just look out for the fakes if you're getting them off amazon or anything make sure it's from north american rescue inside what do we have here a lot of different stuff right over here on this side what i've got is uh, a pair of chest seals, all right? These are hyphen vented chest seals, you know, get whatever you want, but this is what I have for, you know, sucking chest wounds and other, you know, wounds to the the chest and, and that would affect your, your breathing. I also have a spare tourniquet. This is a rat's tourniquet. Uh, you know, whatever your feelings are about this is great. I like to have a spare in here. This is nice and compact, has some applications, you know, like small children, whatever, that I think it, it could come in, in handy, plus just an extra good tourniquet. A pair of trauma shears. These are five and a half inch shears. I really recommend getting this size. If you try to get a full size seven and a half inch pair, it's gonna have troubles fitting in here. Underneath, you can fit some bulkier items. This is a uh, emergency survival blanket, mylar blanket. And then I also have um, some Z-Fold C-Lox gauze, um, combat gauze under there as well. Over here on this side, is where I have my uh, NPA. That's a I forgot that was in here. That's a piece of duct tape. Uh, but the you know the um, artificial airway as well as the gel. That's important to have. Um, I've actually got a Sealox applicator. These things are really cool. It's basically a syringe that you can use to push um, the Sealox granules deep into a wound that's really small and deep and tough to pack because your fingers aren't long enough to get down in there. So this is a cool thing to have if you got room for it. Um, I got another pack of just regular um, S-roll gauze there. I've got a pack of duct tape and a pair of gloves. And this is just kind of my basic emergency kit that I have with me. I'll show you the pouch and how it kind of mounts to the belt. You've got some options depending on how you want to deploy this thing. If you want to put it on you know, a chest rig or something of that nature, they've got a really cool system that allows you to mount it to Molly, which is these little straps right here. So these thread through Molly and then come back under the back of the pouch and Velcro in place. This belt has Molly on it, but because there's only two rows, it ends up being a little bit floppy. These clips I've threaded on here, these are from STAC. These are designed for the Kiwi mag holders, but they work really well for mounting 
molly accessories to belts like this so that's a really cool way that you can mount this pouch and it ends up being really really sturdy Okay, so now I've gone ahead and restaged everything back into the pouch, and I'm just gonna show you kind of how it goes back together. Obviously, the main part of the pouch stays on the belt when you pull the organizer out. Now I'll just fold this back up. This just slides back in. And there's these two flaps here on the sides that you basically tuck in over the top, and that just helps make sure Helps protect it a little bit, keeps things from falling out. Also protects, you know, somewhat from dirt and so forth getting into it. You know, breaking your uh, your sealed items and so forth, whether it's sticks or whatever. And then this tucks down over the top. They also have different inserts for this, um, you know, medic cross area. Um, you can do a high vis like I have. You can do a low vis, or there's also a reflective, an IR reflective insert you can put in here as well if you're running around with guys doing night vision. Okay guys, that's the Blue Force Trauma Kit now. I hope that's helpful for you. Um, it's a great piece of gear that I highly recommend. I'll put a link to it down below where you can get it. You can get it just as the pouch and put your own medical gear in there, which is what I have done. Or if you get it directly from Blue Force gear, you can actually have them stock it with a kind of a basic set of uh, some medical gear as well. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Let me know if there's anything else that um, you've seen in my videos you'd like to see a full review on, and uh, we'll see you next time.